Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on EMC consideration. This video, I'm going to further emphasize on grounding consideration. One of the key topics of grounding consideration will be ground loop. Actually, most of the time, we actually create this ground loop without knowing it. So therefore, this video mainly focus how can we actually break the ground loop. This will be the part 38 series discussion on EMC consideration. The rest of the earlier on discussion or maybe also the future discussion on this EMC consideration, I have put the playlist under the description. So please take a look on those videos if you're keen to know more about EMC. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, feel free to give me some comment so that the quality of this channel can be further improved. Okay, let's start quickly by understanding how actually ground loop can actually be created. Okay, in fact, this is a very simple di diagram to illustrate how can we actually create ground loop without us knowing. When we actually transmit data over long distance, they actually have some potential issue. A ground loop can be a source of interference that can induce a noise voltage between the ground on either end of the transmission. Okay, which means that when we actually create a ground loop, if this ground loop actually create a loop from the transmitter to the receiver and this can be a source of interference because once we induce voltage okay, on either end okay, this become a big issue and if this voltage is large enough okay, it can actually cause data error at the receiver okay so let's take a look on this diagram here so over here you can see that this is let's say this is a transmitter this is a receiver they are actually linked by this shield cable. So they actually has grounding issue here. So you can see from here, they basically can create a ground loop without us knowing. So the ground loop actually can be linked from the transmitter to the receiver by the shield cable. Okay, because this cable is actually shield, which means that at the outer part here, there is actually a conductor material. And this conductor material can actually potentially create a ground loop. So once we have this ground loop, we have EMC issue. So this video, we are going to discuss how can we actually break the ground loop. So this will be the emphasis of this video. Next, okay, ground loop are a major contributor to the propagation of RF energy. RF current will try to flow through any path or medium. Okay, for example, they can flow through components, wire harness, which I have shown it to you, ground planes, adjacent trace, etc. So basically, they can flow any return path all the way back. And when they actually create this, you potentially create a ground loop. The okay, RF current is created between a source and load in the return path. This is due to the voltage potential difference between the two ground. Okay, over here, as long as we know that current can flow, we know that there will be a slight difference in terms of potential difference. If not, if they are exactly potential, okay, we cannot create any current because as we know from DC, let's say let's go to DC when they actually has a same voltage, we, we can't actually create any current. But once there's a slight difference of voltage or potential difference, then the current will be able to flow. So this is the issue. Okay, once we actually induce a noise source onto this ground loop, okay, this thing can actually flow and this become a potential issue. Okay, what will be the result? Basically, coupling occur between trace and circuit. And because of this, we actually create magnetic loop, which in turn cause RF emission. Okay, which means that this part, okay, they become a big issue because once they create a ground loop, they potentially can radiate out at this particular frequency. And this become an EMC issue. If the ground loop is caused by an unintentional connection of a cable shield to ground, then the ground loop is easily removed by eliminating the unintended connection to ground. Okay, this would focus on breaking ground loop. 
Okay, so let's take a look on another example that we actually potentially create a ground loop. Okay, let's say this chassis okay, is a metal casing. Okay, you have this PCB. Typically, under this PCB, we have this ground plane. And we have this mounting post. Can we see over here, we actually create a ground loop also. Because the PCB with a grounding effect over here, and the mounting post is actually made up of a good conductor. And basically, the chassis basically is also made of metal. So basically, from here, you can see that they potentially create a ground loop, okay, which is mentioned here. Loop current is generated between PCB, mounting post, and chassis, and copper. Basically, this can be, can be rated out. And again, like what I mentioned, they can be a, become a potential EMC issue. How can we actually break the ground loop? Okay, so basically, we need to convert to a single point grounding system. If not, we can also improve the isolation of the two circuit, okay, which means that how can we actually cut the transmitter and receiver. So this is what we are going to focus here. Okay, isolation can be achieved by using this five method, transformer, common mode chokes, optical coupler, balance circuitry, and also frequency selective ground ring. Okay, so let's take a look in terms of diagram. Okay, for example, over here. Okay, so earlier on, we actually create a ground loop. So what we do is basically we do an isolation between transmitter and receiver. As shown in this diagram here, okay, basically we insert a transformer. And when we actually insert a transformer, okay, we actually break the ground loop. Okay, so this is the method number one. Method number two, okay, we can actually insert a common mode choke. Okay, so once we insert a common mode choke, you can see over here, the ground loop again will be broken. Okay, so therefore we actually resolve the issue of ground loop. Third method, okay, we can also insert an optical coupler. Okay, so basically optical coupler mainly transmit by light. So with this, we also potentially cut off the ground loop and we actually resolve the issue of the ground loop. Fourth method, Okay, we can insert a balance circuit. So we actually, when we actually insert a balance circuit from this diagram here, you can see that there will be a strong isolation between transmitter and receiver. And again, okay, we can also resolve the issue of ground rule. Okay, so in short over here, we can actually isolate the transmitter and receiver by using this five method, transformer, common mode choke, optical coupler, balance circuitry, Frequency selective grounding. Okay, with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Hope to see you on the next video. See you guys.